love that. <laughs> That's right. It's kind of fun. You yeah. have to have you have to have one hundred percent confidence <laughs> that you're gonna get it. Don't yeah. even think for a second Don't it ain't gonna just a flip of the wrist. Oh, look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. That's all it is. Morning. Morning. It's your favorite keto homegirls here. Back at yes. you with another awesome keto breakfast. Oh, it's going down. Yeah. <laughs> what we have today, chef? Oh my. Okay, so y'all know we doing more vegetables and trying different vegetables. So anyways, we've got some butternut squash that I yeah. cut up and I'm a little scared. Reach over this because <laughs> this pan is hot, y'all. Uh -oh. uh, diced up, kind of small. Butternut squa squash that we roasted, mm -hmm. and then we've got um, maybe a third. Well, no, really, like third of a half of an onion. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, and then we got some diced up green onion, the green ends, just for a little garnish, a little extra flavor. Mm -hmm. And They're nice. Yeah. So, oh, Where's let me get chef? let me get the bacon fat. You hold on to that. Right. We're using I'm bacon fat because we're also eating bacon. Ooh, yes. Let me we show y'all. Plate and she crispy. Delish. I love bacon. Me too. Bacon is like Alright, so put in some bacon grease into the hot pan. So uh, what I noticed from sauteing the squash before was that uh, it sucked up that fat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. But it was nice. Yeah. And we were, we're gonna only have we got here a cup of squash because a cup of squash, according to chronometer, is 14 net carbs. Which is pretty hot. Yeah, <laughs> just for a cup. Yeah. Because I mean cup. one person could down that. I could oh, yeah. I could down that. You know, yeah, it's see. kind of a lot, but we're gonna share that. So anyways, so I threw some spinach. I should have chopped it up, but yeah. I just threw a handful. Oh gosh, I'm gonna spill it. Can you see? A handful of spinach with our diced squash and onion. It smells heavenly. Like it smells like pumpkin pie, but bacon and just mm, really delicious. Sounds like a meal. Exciting. Yeah. Yes. So, um, and then I just salted it and added some black pepper, fresh mm. cracked black pepper. Black pepper. It so, makes it look pretty. The I love it. And then just add a little some extra. I'm gonna add a little vanilla to my tea. Just a couple drops. One cup drop. And I'm gonna put a little arithmetic salt because I want mine a little sweet, sweet. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, it was just like creamy chai tea. It just was begging for a little sweetness. So, mm -hmm. just, yeah. yeah, we actually had to blend the coconut milk into the tea because our coconut milk was kind of gritty coming out of the can. It was not smooth. Yeah, it wasn't smooth. So, but that was actually good because it made it frothy. Mm hmm. Which I like. It's all right. Yeah. It's very light. Yeah, very, very light. All right. Probably have a little too much. It's too heavy cream. Okay. All right. Mm. So Ooh, along with bacon fat, it is. Sure. I, I was getting ready to pour some out. So I'm like, ooh, I can't flip that hot grease all over. But it's like the bacon fat. I don't know. I just <laughs> love it. I'm gonna fry a couple eggs. I'm gonna start with fried hard. <laughs> Not too hard. You want them yolks to kind of. Yeah, not too hard, but I do like when it has that crispness. Yeah, that's what it is. Ooh. I mean, it's 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 pumpkin pie with bacon and onions. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. It ain't too much though, but it's pretty. It ain't too much. Well, we can only have a freaking cup. Well, yeah, between us. Okay. Yeah. So half a cup of this butternut squash is about seven grams. Of carbs, I ain't even added the, the spinach because uh, I ain't worried about it. Oh, thank you, dear. We're gonna lay them eggs on top. Dang. Yeah, gourmet baby. Do you but see? home cooking for, for that ass. ass? For that ass. I mean, we really getting these asses together too. I think so. <laughs> it's happening. I mean, I'm really working on it. I'm working hard at it. Yeah, I, I know I can work a little harder. Seasoning on that. Well, you know, I ain't tasted it, but I just want to yeah. see the seasoning. 
You want to see a little black? I want to see the black. I, I, I feel that. I do. So I'm going to do two eggs and an egg yolk. Mm. But it's extra fat, but it's a little less protein. Oh, God, yes. It's a baking time. Nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like it still cooks after you turn the oven off. Leave your bacon in the oven and it'll get a little extra crispy if you like that sort of thing. I do. Alright. Woo! Bam! Oh! One of you did not completely. That was good to me though. I'm impressed. Thoroughly. Thanks. It <laughs> takes a lot of mess ups first though yeah. before you get that right. Yeah! How's it going with Nani and Derry, Michelle? I was just going to say. <laughs> what day is it? What day is Today it? is it's the 11th oh. day. Today's the 11th, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, 11 days. Dairy free now. Okay, so I had a smidge. There were two, two times I had a little dairy. Um, just a smidgen of butter with some eggs at work. Because, you know, I was out of, I wasn't thinking. So, whatever. And then yesterday I had just like a tablespoon or two of heavy cream. I was hungry and mm -hmm. I needed something. That's about the only thing at work that oh <laughs> that I can free. go to that you know and and stave off the hunger because I wanted to eat later. Mm. So, anyways, those eggs are, are good for me. Ooh, I need wait. to see. Yeah. So this looks delicious. That looks bomb. And I can't wait to eat it. Look at that. You got the veggies and mm -hmm. the eggs and the bacon. Look so great with that bacon. I know. It looks like a real complete. Like this looks like something you get at a restaurant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and boast. Ooh. Well, you need to. This thing looks delicious. It don't it? It looks oh, so delicious so and so pretty, and all the colors, the fall colors, that orange and green, and I know. it's so pretty. It. It's just so do do pretty. Okay. Oh, I like it a lot. <laughs> Let me eat this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. All right. So I gotta eat. <laughs> Back to eleven days eat. of non-dairy. Oh yes. How's it going? <clears throat> it's going really well. I don't feel. Feel cravings for cheese. I'm not like avoiding cheese or anything. <laughs> like it's been here. Although even this morning I saw that um, we still have that blueberry vanilla goat Ooh, cheese. Yeah, <sighs> that was good. So for a second I was like, oh, I want some. But yeah. um, anyways, it's going good. Um, as far as how my body feels, I'm not really feeling uh, any different. Um, I was hoping just for, you know, I got sinus issues, y'all. Sinus issues, a lot of mucus in the morning, waking up, hacking out of lungs. Mm. That ain't cute, but it's better than that squash is. It tastes very fresh and just fall in my mouth. Like, yeah. I mean, it does have that pumpkin-esque flavor. It does. Almost. It's like you put sweetener in here. That's crazy, but I didn't. Just making <laughs> fat. But that squash is is kind of sweet. It mm -hmm. is sweet. So how, tell the people how you made this. All right. Let me get a beef <laughs> bite of this. It's been calling my name all morning. My God. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. So, <clears throat> you can cook your squash ahead in the oven so I cut it in half you're gonna need a good sharp knife to cut through that squash well first what I did was peel it peel the squash and then cut it in half scooped out the seeds threw those away cuz we're not gonna eat that and then um, I oiled them the pan and the squash with coconut oil just because I felt like using coconut oil, it sounded mm -hmm. good to me. Use whatever fat you want, though. And it's really just to help it from sticking to the pan and whatever. Maybe it helps with the crispiness of it. I don't know. Anyways, um, I cooked that in the oven for 
like 40 or 50 minutes I can't remember it wasn't an hour it was like 45 minutes at 400 degrees mm -hmm. and um, it came out pretty good it wasn't too soft because at first we were thinking we were gonna try and shred it you can't really shred butter and squash I thought I had bought a, a spaghetti, a spaghetti squash. Squash. Mm -hmm. that's what I was thinking when I bought it well that's the first thing that popped in my brain but I didn't realize, duh, it's a, a butternut squash, not a spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. Until I got it home and was like, wait a minute. Yeah. What is this now? <laughs> <laughs> all I knew was it, it's fall season. All these pumpkin looking things are popping up. <laughs> and I do want to eat seasonally. And I, right. I don't want to get to where we're just, you know, or so, afraid of vegetables, afraid of yeah. fruit, afraid of stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I still want to have it as part. And, you know, we just got to work these macros learn how much you know fiber and and carbs and whatnot is per gram or whatever mm -hmm. per cup mm -hmm. you know like this butternut squash is 14 grams of carb net carb for one cup so that's why we you know we're each we're eating a cup and we're splitting it so half a cup each which is seven grams of carbs because you're very tired of being fat and chunky i want to ride that line between thick and fit that's 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 what i want to be yeah Another morning, I stepped on the scale, and it was a couple pounds heavier, which yeah. I knew it was going to be. So, I'm no. like, all right, Joy, you got to start doing what you don't want to do and yeah. track and just, but honestly, it's really about learning. Mm -hmm. Really learn mm -hmm. about what my body likes, how many carbs are in things, what a teaspoon looks like, what a cup of something is, just taking the time to really learn it. Well, I'll know and be able to keep this body in check because ultimately that's what I want. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. It is really, 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 really good. Like this really natural, real flavor. Real food. Mm -hmm. right. I had to stop in the middle of my text message uh, <laughs> and get another mouthful. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for having breakfast with us. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed. We sure did. Go out there and get you some butternut squash. It's in season and it tastes yummy. Yes. Try some new things. Have an awesome day. Yes. We love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.